Hello and welcome to City Skylines in the city of Arch City. On the last episode, we've built up this area over here, added this uh, little area in there that will allow us to grow into this. And yeah, I think that was basically it. We've grew this a little bit as well on the previous episode where we need more um, residential. All because we had issues with that industrial area over here. That's now fixed, so we don't have issues with that anymore. And I may think I am thinking on what's the next step. So here's what we're gonna do. We are unlocking this new tile in here. That'll be our fourth tile. And if we look at this, we where is that? It's better if I do like this. We have the education layer, right? I'll go a little bit further so you can see all on this side. This is the elementary school. As you can see, it's going well. These are the new neighborhoods, so it's normal to be like that. We also have high school. Again, these new neighborhoods, they take a little bit uh, longer to fill it up. But university or capacity is zero. And again, we have these areas plus this one, plus some in here, some over there that could benefit from that. We have 7,818 eligible people for university. But I don't want to put just a university building. I want to make a campus because it's a lot cooler than everything else. So we've done a trade school before, we've done, actually we are doing the liberal arts college in our uh, order of someone, well, my mesh over there, everyone's happy. Uh, we've done the trade school, the liberal arts, sorry, in the um, um, Atlantic City, which is running in parallel to this series. And we've never done the university campus area. So I will take a look at that. I'll Probably I'll create this around here because what I'm thinking is that we've we have a lot, a lot of residential in this area. And I want to bring more high density over here as well. As we've done here and uh, around here. And I think this would be a great area to be central for all these residential areas. And that would be pretty good for what we need. And then, like, everyone will be educated and have a central place to go. Now, my main concern here is actually getting people access to this place. So, we will have to work on the public transportation. I think that we will make a metro hub and have some sort of local uh, public transportation going around like or a tram or just buses or buses are working fine in here so that might be something we do but yeah that'll be the goal for today start working on that and i will be back after the time lapse enjoy the music
beginning of our new university area and this building is quite nice it's pretty tricky to get the lines the metro lines in here but it looks pretty cool and i like how it actually goes over the road there that's quite nice so this will be our metro hub in this area and this will be our new university here and then I've expanded this a little bit because I want the university connecting to the neighborhood as well. And the smaller buildings I'll put on the sides. These will be dorms. This is the main hall, study hall rather. And this is the main building. And then everything here will be connected by pathways. I, I don't have any intentions to make these, um, any, any roads in this area. So that'll be only pathways let's see how that goes i hope this helps at the moment we have 670 students uh, enough attracti attractiveness to the next level here so we might give some money to the university let's see twenty thousand. Uh, why not we have enough money and Dissertation, discovery, or scientific study. Let's go for discovery. Maybe that's a little bit too much. Let's go for 10,000 there. That'll be enough. Now for policies, student healthcare. Let's do it. Free lunch. Well, people need to eat, right? Let's do it. <laughs> Visiting scholars. Um, Increase faculty bonus and upkeep. Let's do it. And universal education. This will be no income from campus tuition. This I won't do yet. We can do varsity sports, but we don't have anything else, uh, anything yet. So we need to build a varsity building, which is right here, I believe. Yeah, one of those, which is quite good, but we will do it later on. But yeah, uh, for the moment, these are the buildings that we have unlocked. Everything else will depend on other levels and we have to wait for a full year. Now for the Metro, let's take a look at that. There we go. So I have extended this line to go into here. I've created this new line that goes into the area that we are having issues to bring more people. That goes, whoops that goes into this um, the industry area, which is great. And I've created a new line that goes into this new area, which is close enough to the uh, monorail in there. And that goes into here. That's again, close to the bus connection. And this one that is halfway through the monorail hub and the stadium. I think this will help move people quite a lot. I didn't manage to get one station around here because this is very steep. So I was having trouble with that, but I think that'll be more than enough. And I certainly want to see how many people we can get on these, um, these new train lines or metro lines. And now that we've unlocked this, I really want to fix these <laughs> connections here because ah, they're so ugly but we'll get there let's take a look at our metro and see how that's going so let's start with this one which is our main line we have this station which is pretty busy and that's by the monorail mm, that's interesting but uh, yeah, I think we are, we are okay. It just takes some time, but we get everyone that's in there. We have this connection here by the tourism district, which is pretty busy. 
but it's all right. I think we have the right number of uh, metro or trains in that metro line. For the red one, which goes up to the industry and going through our university or zoo. Why that is called university zoo? I don't, I don't remember why. All right. Uh, I might have said about building university around here, haven't I? Yeah, I think I did, but well, that won't happen now. But as you can see, we have more than enough trains there. Um, it's not even how full, I could even reduce one, but I think that's fine. That'll keep people moving and that's what we want. And then going back to this, let's see the last one that we created. This is the one that goes up to the stadium. And yeah, quite a few people there. Again, I think we have the right number of metro um, in there and no issues at all. So at the moment, um, 640, something like that, people using metro. And I think I'm quite happy. Buses are still going, so no issues with that. It's better if we let this go for a while and see how the public transport will rearrange itself. But this area is starting to look good. I really want to make this a feature. This building might be a little bit too close to here, but mm, you know what? I think I'm, I'm okay with that. I like looking into that and seeing it just behind the the station over there and I flatted this area a little bit so we can work in here which would be hopefully more than enough space for us to reach level 5 and I don't think like it's just a matter of waiting for this uh, and then we will be good to go but then I think we could actually let me do one thing while we wait a little bit I don't know how long that it's gonna take probably not enough I just want to add some more buildings in here and maybe a few buildings around here because this main empty space is annoying me quite a lot <laughs> but yeah let me do this and I'll be right back I decided to put some offices in here at the back and I like this building. What is that? It's the trash news. <laughs> okay. So the law firm and they are leveling up as well, as well. So that's why there is a lot of building rebuilt here. So this would be a commercial still and here as well. And this looks quite nice. It's actually interesting. This gives us another connection there. Maybe later we can do a pathway in here and think about it, probably one in there would be good as well. If I grab this one, let me do at least this one. I have to move it around because we don't need such a big pathway there. Just a little connection, making sure that everything is going there and I might do another one in here too. And for this one, we could go just like that. There. And yeah, I think this, be, this will be good enough for what we need. So we are probably still a few months away. Yeah, half a year away from this. So I guess we won't see this leveling up yet. I don't want to wait as much. By the way, while I was building this, we hit Colossal City, which gives us helicopters, nuclear power plant, some, uh, not some, one floating cafe and more helicopter stuff, ocean thermal energy conversion plant, which is pretty cool for energy generation. And yeah, this is nice, but I like to see how many people are here now. 1,419, I think. How many do we have in the whole city? 8,500 now. All right. 
so we could have a lot more students coming over here. Maybe we need to provide a better way for this area to get in there. And where's our... Oh, we, we do have this station in here. So yeah, I... I think we are good. It's just a matter of waiting. You can see that we have a lot of buildings now upgrading. Population is growing and we have a pretty nice area here. This will start filling up uh, probably on the next episode. We'll start working on this and working with the university in parallel and growing this area. And I want to see how this reflects in this area as well. Because we have one abandoned building because there wasn't enough workers. I can see that we still need more residential, but uh, yeah, we, we can keep working on that. Probably, as I mentioned, this would be all high density. I want to make sure that we have a transition coming from this area into this one. And to be honest, we could start here on the main road. And I'll do that just so we don't forget it. Because we usually don't put anything on the main road, right? We make this um, nice nature corridor along the main highways. And this looks pretty good, especially when you look from above. You can see that we have it here, in there, we have it here, over there. And this goes to here, this goes to here, and over here as well. So this looks pretty nice, but yeah, just know that in some place, in some, some areas, it makes more sense to have more buildings than that. And we have to make sure that we have a nice balance uh, with different things here. So we, we don't look like with the city looking the same everywhere. So this changes things a little bit, but yeah, there we go. This is our new university. I hope you like it. We will start growing this quite a lot now. And just as a heads up, next episode that you'll see on my channel will have a lot more detailing. That's because we do have the live stream every Saturday around 8 p.m. or so on the time. And that's when all the magic of detailing happen. <laughs> so on the last uh live stream we did detail this park over here so if you haven't seen that yet this is how it looks we have the train line going in the middle there and it's still pretty cool i really like this park we've also detailed this area over here and this did some detailing in here including um, the the markings on the on the ground all the junctions all that sort of stuff and yeah that's still a lot more to do we've done uh every episode with all that across a multiple uh multiple areas like for example we need to do it over here still we need to fill this area and obviously detail this because this is looking pretty bare at the moment and that is still around this lake over here that i want to do something and i'll definitely do that on the next um, or you might miss that because it'll be on my next Saturday, which uh, will be before this episode goes live. But yeah, consider subscribe so you see when I go live next. Also, uh, you can see when the next episode of Series Car Lines comes up. And don't forget to like this video and leave me a comment about what you think about this new university. Uh, give me some suggestions on what I should do or even how I should name it and Yeah, that that'll be it. If you want join the discord server this link is in the description All the same stuff as always that we do and say at the end of the videos, but The main thing is that thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one Bye bye